All right. So the first thing I see in my reading is that there is a lot of uh, energy around finance and career. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of stuff around finance and career. And it shows there was a, um, a, you're going through a period of time where there's some really unseen things going on that uh, you got to be very careful right now protecting what's yours. But you're coming to a time where you're being offered some type of promotion um, with more money. Uh, but be careful. Uh, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. But it's going to feed your ego because they're going to want you to be in charge. And we love to be in charge. But unfortunately, when you end up in a situation of being in charge, uh, you end up doing most of the work and getting, you may get a bigger paycheck, but if you average it out by the amount of hours you put in, it's not all that good. So just be careful about that. Uh, the emotions are um, a little heavy during this time. But the finances are good. So you're going to have money. So I guess you'll learn if money does buy happiness or not. What do you see? Um, I, think, uh, I think part of the problem that's going on is that they have a karmic situation that they're not aware of that's going down right now. And that karmic situation is either being caused by or is causing necessity, pain, constraint, and need, which is an inability to move in a lot of directions. And both of those are unseen. Um, I think there's a real need to be aware of the opportunities that are coming in because they've got Wunjo, which is the fruit bearing branch in its downward position, which is an indication of missing the harvest. Um, there is a potential for growth, but it requires flexibility on their part. And um, with the, uh, the other thing that I'm seeing here is that their emotions are, as you said, very, very heavy. Um, I have both of the runes that deal with emotion out, one of them in the reverse position, and the other one is just in its frozen position. So there is an indication that that's going on. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing, too, that just occurred to me with these cards is be very, very careful um, because other people are going to be trying to steal from you. And I can't decide if they're like trying to steal your money and your possessions, which it could be, or, but what I'm hearing is they're trying to steal your joy and your satisfaction. <laughs> that goes with Wunjo being face, being pointed down. Wunjo, the you know fruit bearing branch. Uh, that one, one of its names is joy. You know, oh, really? one of the other okay. things that it goes under is joy. And uh, so, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if it's an intentional stealing, but certainly the interaction between them. And I think it's a karmic thing. And it's again. jealousy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, really? It's, I, I believe it's, it's jealousy on some level that it's, or envy maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a difference between jealousy and envy? I guess. Yeah, there they, is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of uh, spiritual negativity being blown at you in this reading, that these people are, uh, they're bound, they're spiritually bound, and you're um, in a process of, of, of being released and getting some success going on. And it's hard-earned success. This isn't just zippity doo -dah type stuff. It's hard-earned but you have these people that are making it even harder on you to enjoy your success because you're having to guard against their negativity. You know, one of the things um, that I've got up here deals with growth, but it's growth through sacrifice. And so it may be time to cut some ties with some people. Um, you know, and the I other end that's... Her. Gosh, quiet. The uh, the other thing that's that's showing again is the need to be very very flexible. Do not remain rigid in this time, 
uh, if you remain rigid, you're probably going to break. You have to be al allowing yourself to be flexible enough to allow the flow of things around you rather than, you know, like, oh, I'm going to block everything. This is not a time for that. This is a time to use a gentler method with things. And one of the reasons for that is your head and your heart are in agreement on this, and they're both wrong. They're, <laughs> what they're saying is that you're not worthy of this success. That this is a lot of stuff of, of I, I think probably part of the inflexibility is you have the potential of sabotaging your success because you on on a very deep core level you don't feel you deserve it but you do i mean you've earned it this has been hard i mean it's like on paper it's obvious you deserve it but you still have that voice in your head and that feeling in your heart of of not being worthy and that's so not true so you have yeah. to take some methods of of reworking those uh, voices, reworking that, whether it be positive affirmations or lighting candles or whatever, prayer work, whatever it is, you do meditation, but you've got, you've got to stop that because that's where part of your energy leak is coming from. Mm -hmm. And I would say, um, you know, again, you've got the emotions in reversal. So that would just sort of be an indication that you're not, uh, as he was saying, you're not really allowing yourself to take credit for the good things you do. It's more like, oh, it's just, you know, I just, it's nothing. And it is something, you know, it's like you need to give yourself credit where credit is due and stop kind of avoiding it. I, I get a sense that there's um, almost like a, a, an overabundance of humility that doesn't need to be there. You deserve to take the pride and the credit for the things you've done rather than, you know, film like, as he was saying, that you're not, not good enough, not worthy enough. Um, you know, I wonder if that's part of it is that you don't feel like you are good enough. Did you already say that? You're uh, good enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. Well, that's what I see. That's what I see. Right, okay. well, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs>